I found out recently from the Bicycle Playing Card Company, that's the company that makes most of the pl uh, playing cards on the planet, that they actually use a different coloured ink for, different, uh, for the different coloured cards. For the red cards, they use an oil-based ink, and for the black cards, they use a water-based ink. You can see where this is going. <laughs> and to demonstrate this, I have uh, three red cards and three black cards. See, if the cards are mixed together, there's a red card, there's a black card. There's a red card, there's a black card, there's a red card, lastly a black card. You saw the colours go into the glass. You saw them mixed together. But if I leave it just a few seconds, those colours will separate. I just square them up and spread them. And there's three red cards and three black cards. I'll do it again because my old school science teacher said you must always repeat the experiment under increasingly tougher conditions. So there's a red card, there's a black card. There's a red card, there's a black card. There's a red card, there's a black card. You saw the six cards go into the glass, you saw them mixed together. But if I leave it just a few seconds, those colours will separate, just like oil and water. Three red cards and three black cards. Now, some of the more observant of you will have noticed that I didn't actually show you the faces of all of those cards. So this last time I'm going to do it with the cards facing you, so you can actually see the six colours go into the glass. That's a black card. That's a red card. That's a black card. That's a red card. That's a black card. Lastly, a red card. You saw the colours go into the glass, you saw them mixed together. But if I leave it just a few seconds, those colours will separate, just like oil. <laughs>